Hey, space nerd! And count me as one of those, too. Here's the best quiz on space trivia you'll ever take. This will definitely separate the astro is's from the astro nots. Sorry, the jokes don't get any better. We'll start out easy. What is the name of the nearest star to Earth other than our Sun? A. Alpha Centauri B. Proxima Centauri C. Betelgeuse D. Polaris It's Proxima Centauri. It's located 4.2 light-years from Earth, and it's a red dwarf, with a mass of around 12.5% that of our Sun. What is the largest planet in our solar system? A. Earth B. Jupiter C. Saturn D. Neptune By far, the largest planet in our system is Jupiter. FYI, Jupiter's mass is more than 300 times the mass of Earth. That's simply huge. What is the name of the bright band of stars that forms a circle around the celestial sphere and is visible from Earth? A. The Zodiac B. The Milky Way C. The Great Bear, Ursa Major D. The Orion Belt It's the Milky Way. If you've ever stared at the sky on a clear night, you know what we're talking about. Earth is located in the Milky Way. Scientists believe that there are over 100 billion stars in the Milky Way. This is probably why it shines so bright. Who was the first human to set foot on the moon? A. Neil Armstrong B. Buzz Aldrin C. Joseph Acaba D. John Glenn It was Neil Armstrong. To quote him, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. In what year did Neil Armstrong become the first man to set foot on the moon? A. 1869 B. 1920 C. 1969 D. 2005 It was July 20th, 1969. Armstrong was accompanied by another astronaut named Buzz Aldrin. They were both on the famous Apollo 11 mission and got to walk around for about three hours. How old is planet Earth estimated to be? A. 4,500 years old B. 4.5 million years old C. 450 million years old D. 4.5 billion years old Way to go if you answered 4.5 billion years old, give or take 50 million years. I mean, that's a hard one to calculate. Which planet is closest to the Sun? A. Mercury B. Venus C. Mars D. Earth Wow, I have to say, I think you should apply for a spot at NASA. The correct answer is Mercury, of course. Which planet is closest to Earth? A. Mercury B. Venus C. Mars D. Saturn Although a lot of people think it's Venus, Keen physicists have calculated that it's actually Mercury that holds the spot as Earth's closest neighbor. Here's a nice one. What is it called when the Moon blocks our view of the Sun? A. Black hole B. Solar eclipse C. Lunar eclipse D. Equinox Well, it's definitely not a black hole. If the moon blocks our view of the sun, we call it a solar eclipse. And when the moon passes through Earth's shadow, then it's a lunar eclipse. So, it's option B. 
what is the most distant object in the universe that astronomers have discovered? A. A star called Proxima Centauri B. A black hole C. A galaxy called HD1 D. The International Space Station Can you imagine how far away is 13.5 billion light-years? That's how far the galaxy HD1 is located. It only existed about 330 million years after the Big Bang. Yikes! So, how much time does it take sunlight to reach Earth? A. 8.20 seconds B. 8 minutes and 20 seconds C. 8 hours and 20 minutes D. 8 days and 20 hours If you guessed 8 minutes and 20 seconds, then you've got it right. It's crazy to think that the sun is 93 million miles away, but it only takes 8 minutes for its light to get to our planet, huh? Okay, so if you've gotten over 80% of the answers correct so far, you're on a starlit path, that's for sure. The questions will get harder from now on, so hold on tight to your astronaut suit. Which Guinness World Record title does astronaut Peggy Whitson hold? A. Most spacewalks by a female B. First person on the moon in the 2000s C. Oldest person in space D. The youngest person to go to space Peggy is a legend in the astronaut world because she's gathered the most spacewalks for a female. A spacewalk is when an astronaut has to leave the spaceship to do some repair or exploration outside. They only let you do it after a lot of training, though. So, way to go, Peggy! What do astronauts use to write in outer space? A. A special pen B. A pencil C. Their computers D. Yeah, they don't really write in space. You know what they say, less is more. Normal pens don't really work in space due to the lack of gravity, so astronauts need a special one in order to write. Planet Earth has liquid water because it's located in a special spot in the solar system. What's that spot called? A. The high heat zone B. The Sandberg line C. The Goldilocks zone D. The asteroid belt And you've got it just right if you answered option C. The Goldilocks zone is also known as the habitable zone. A celestial body has to be located at the exact right distance from its star to have water in its liquid form. I guess this means Earth is pretty lucky. Now, what do we call it when a star goes kaboom, becoming extremely bright for a brief period of time? A. Supernova B. Nebula C. Black hole D. Galaxy It's a supernova, of course. Do you know the name of the space telescope launched by NASA in 1990, which has provided many iconic images of the universe? A. Kepler Space Telescope B. James Webb Telescope C. Chandra X-ray Observatory D. Hubble Space Telescope It's our very own Hubble Telescope. And yes, the images look like works of art. We've settled who the first humans to step on the moon were. But what was the name of the lunar module that carried them during the Apollo 11 mission? A. Eagle B. Orion C. Saturn D. Discovery If you answered option A, then you rock. Their lunar module spacecraft was nicknamed Eagle. By the way, the command module left to orbit the moon until Eagle returned was called Columbia. Black holes are mysterious phenomena. But what's the name of the boundary surrounding them beyond which not even light can escape? 
A. Singularity B. Escape velocity C. Interstellar limit D. Event horizon It would be neat if it was option C, but it's called an event horizon. Way to go if you've gotten this far! Now, for the final rounds of this quiz, we've selected only expert-level questions. Are you ready? Good! Which space probe was launched by NASA in 1977 and has since become the farthest human-made object from Earth? A. Voyager B. Pioneer C. New Horizons D. Cassini And the correct answer is option A. The probe was called Voyager 1, and it went all the way over to meet Jupiter. Which moon in our solar system is known to have active geysers of water erupting from its surface? A. Europa, Jupiter's moon. B. Titan, Saturn's moon. C. Enceladus, Saturn's moon. D. Triton, Neptune's moon. If you got this one right, you are definitely ready for one of NASA's next space missions. The answer is Enceladus. This moon is a small icy body with a huge ocean sitting beneath an icy crust. Scientists have become hopeful that Enceladus might be one of the places where life could exist, since heat from its interior might create liquid water. So, what's the name of the space mission that successfully landed the Curiosity rover on Mars in 2012? A. Mars Odyssey B. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter C. Mars Science Laboratory D. Mars InSight If you chose option C, you're my hero! The Curiosity rover is the predecessor of Perseverance, nicknamed Percy, the rover that's currently over there exploring any signs of life on the red planet. So, what do you say? On a scale from 1 to 10, are you an astro novice or an astro expert? That was fun! See you next time! Greetings to all watching our video quiz. Today, we will be taking a fascinating journey through space. The questions will range from simple ones that can be answered quickly to challenging ones that will require some thought. Be focused and resourceful, and you will be able to pass the quiz and become true space experts. Which planet has the highest density? Jupiter, Earth, Venus, Mercury. The Earth's density is 5.52 grams per cubic centimeter, this is because the Earth is made up mostly of rocky materials, which have a high density. Which planet has 6,000 artificial satellites? Earth, Venus, Mars, Jupiter. These satellites are used for a variety of purposes, including telecommunications, navigation, surveillance, meteorology, space exploration, and more. What large astral body is closest to Earth? Mars, Polaris, Sun. Moon. This is too easy. Which planet was first discovered with a telescope? Moon. Uranus. Earth. Venus. Uranus was discovered in 1781 by English astronomer William Herschel. Uranus had been observed before Herschel, but it was mistaken for a star. On which planet can you find diamond rain? Mercury. Mars. Jupiter. Uranus. In the upper layers of Uranus's atmosphere, the temperature is about minus 220 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, methane breaks down into hydrogen and carbon. As the temperature continues to drop and the pressure increases, the carbon forms diamond crystals. These crystals then fall to the planet's core under the force of gravity. What stars in the universe have a rotation speed of 600 revolutions per second? White dwarfs, red dwarfs, neutron, brown dwarfs. Pulsars are neutron stars that formed as a result of a supernova explosion. They spin so fast that they emit radiation in a beam. Which planet has the most moons? Earth, Saturn, Mars, Jupiter. 
Saturn has 82 confirmed moons, including the largest moons in the solar system, Titan, Rhea, and Enceladus. What phenomena keep planets in a stable orbit around the sun? Magnetic field, gravity, solar wind, inertia. The force of gravity between the sun and the planets keeps the planets in their orbits. What color is the sky on the moon? Orange, white, blue, black. The moon has no atmosphere, so there is nothing to scatter sunlight. This is why the sky on the moon appears black, even during the day. On which planet does wind speed exceed supersonic? Earth, Neptune, Jupiter, Mercury. The wind speed on Neptune is the fastest in the solar system. It can reach 2,400 kilometers per hour, which is twice the speed of sound. What protects Earth from meteors and solar radiation? Jupiter, gravity, atmosphere, Elon Musk. The Earth's atmosphere is a mixture of gases that absorb and scatter solar radiation. This protects the Earth from harmful ultraviolet radiation. The atmosphere also protects the Earth from meteors, breaking them up into smaller fragments. Which planets have rings? Jupiter, Neptune, Uranus, Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus. Saturn's rings are the most famous. Jupiter's rings are much less bright and are made up of small dust particles and rock fragments. Uranus's rings are made up of many thin rings and have a bluish tint due to the presence of ice. Neptune's rings have a reddish tint due to the presence of organic compounds. Which star is closest to Earth? Betelgeuse, Polar, Sun, Alpha Centauri. This is again too easy. The trajectory of the planet's movement in space is orbit, Dirl, starburst, eclipse. That's right. What is the cause of the hexagon on Saturn? Magnetic field, gravitational influence of the sun, wind, counterclockwise rotation of Saturn. The hexagon on Saturn is a giant atmospheric vortex. It has a hexagonal shape due to the specific movement of winds in the atmosphere. The hexagon has existed for billions of years and is one of the most stable atmospheric phenomena in the solar system. How many questions did you answer correctly? Write in the comments. Space is an immense and enigmatic universe that holds many mysteries. We are only just beginning to explore it, and there are many more discoveries waiting for us. I hope you enjoyed our quiz. I wish you all the best in your future studies of space.